Hello and welcome to. Lawrence appears to be back on Norvis and has been having to tidy up after various things. <laughs> so in the last episode, we finished off the um, the base up on um, that planet whose name I can't pronounce. And now it's got as as we discussed, it's got everything it needs. We've got the um, Holmium ingots coming around here, being loaded into the delivery cannon and fired off back at my at, um, at Norvis. And I think I've got yes, here we go. I've got the, uh, the I'm using the same delivery chest I was for the um, for the ice, so that's receiving them. And then I'm using filter inserters here to unload the appropriate resources in the onto the appropriate belts. Um, that then comes along here, and we've got another delivery cannon down here, which is ready to fire them up at, in, back at the space base, which is where I actually need the stuff. So if we have a look at um, Norvis orbit, we've got somewhere up here. Yeah, here we go. Is it this one? I'm f I can't remember where exactly where I'm firing them, to be honest. But um, it's going to be either this one or this one. And from there, I'll either um, again use filter inserters or, or possibly bots to send the um, send it out and have an, I'll have another setup like this over here to um, to turn it into place and pass it along the bus but I've not got up there yet so I've not done any of that I've just got the um, the bits down here on Norvis where it's where it's being passed around and I've got all of this bank of, um, of dishes set up to receive signals from all the different places so these ones along here the first sort of copper steel glass I think um, I'm impressed I can send glass up in one of these without it breaking coal and iron they're all going up into orbit and so they're all wired together which you can sort of tell it's a bit of a tangle but uh, just just trust me on this then we've got steel that's being sent to frost ice that's being sent to somewhere I mean this might be this is probably orbit again I think was it wired it was wired to there I'm honestly not sure this is doesn't seem to be wired to anywhere actually but one of these should be going to orbit and one of them should be going to um, Miokin and I should probably check which is which and make sure everything's working properly um, and then we've got the um, Holmium being fired up into orbit as well and we've got Vulcanite being sent that's presumably being sent off to the Holmium planet to be um, to be, because it's needed over there so all of that is now working happily when I came back to Norvis I realized there were a few minor crises going on here the big one was that I'd run out of iron, so I had a couple of iron mines over here that you might remember from ooh months ago. So there's an iron one here and one here. I've ripped this one up because it was completely empty. This one isn't quite empty yet. As you can see, there's still a few of these uh, miners working. Uh, there's still 125,000 in there, so I've left that one running. And there's a little bit under here, and I probably ooh, I, could, I suppose I could put in one extra. <laughs> um, I could probably go in and finagle in a couple of extra uh, miners in there, so get get a little bit more of that out. Um, I don't know whether it's worth it, but um, but I might do that anyway. I pulled up a copper mine from around here somewhere, and I discovered this one. This belt wasn't quite feeding in properly. There was a piece of belt missing somewhere up here or something, I think. Um, so there was a little patch of copper left here. So I've got these two finishing off. There's only 1.2 thousand of it left now. Um, so I'll just leave them ticking over until I've got it all and then I can go up and rip that one up as well. But that meant I needed some more iron. So I've, I've set up some more iron mines. I mean, these are these are easy. You just go in there with with a train full of um, construction equipment. You stamp down a blueprint for the, uh, for the mine and then fill in any gaps. You stamp down a blueprint for the um, balancer and another one for the station and then you just connect them all up and, and then and it's, it is literally as easy as that so once you've got to this stage of the game going out and setting up a new mine is pretty straightforward so there's a new one there number six new one down here number seven i think i put one over here as well somewhere yeah number five over here as well so all of these are now completely full so i imagine that means i've got all yes yeah, so i've got all the iron ore i could need in these stations these are all these are all happy and so that should keep me going for quite a while because whilst I do get through quite a lot of iron, these are big patches. That's a five and a half million. That's almost five million. I've got four and a half million, and I've forgotten where the other one was. Another three and a half million. So there's a lot of iron in those, and that should so that's going to keep me going for a while. Other patches seem to be okay. There's a good amount of copper left there and down there from my last. Oh my god, I've run out of such and such a thing. Crisis, and all of my stone patches over here are still good. That's got five million, one million, three million. There's plenty of stone around as well. So I think. Um, oh, coal is the other one actually. I did notice that there's a coal mine somewhere, and that's got two million in that one. There's one that's nearly run out somewhere around. Um, but in general, I, see, I seem to be okay for coal. So I then um, noticed that there's another, yet another coronal mass ejection looming. This one is it's, it's six and a half hours away. But when I noticed it, it was seven and a half hours away. So an hour has just d 
disappeared while I wasn't really paying it, while I was sort of faffing around with all of this stuff. So that six and a half hours will happen sooner than I expect. It's exactly the same size as the previous one, 2.28 gigawatts, 182 gigajoules over 120 seconds. So all of the maths from before still applies, and I'm not going to have to run through that again, which I'm sure you breathe a sigh of relief about. However, I also noticed that if I look at my um, power generation uh, stats, let's have a look at this poll here. If we go back a fair distance, this massive spike here is the um, core mining drills. They use 300 megawatts, and that's like... That's twice what the rest. Of, that's twice what my base is currently using. That's crazy. So there's a lot of power being used by those, um, and but they've kicked. The, they've stopped now, and that's because I've got more vulcanite than I know what to do with. If we look here, yes, you can see the vulcanite belt is completely backed up, um, which is interesting because I thought that was the thing I was short of, but apparently I'm not anymore. So these have kicked out, uh, which is so they're not using any power at the moment. But I've put in this switch here connected to an accumulator in, this, in the traditional way. So as soon as the accumulator drops below 100% power, uh, the switch is rigged up to then disconnect and um, and, and, and stop and, and cut all of these off. So <clears throat> as soon as the basically as soon as I start using accumulators at all, these um, the mining drills will be turned off. So that's going to save me the power there. So back over looking at the um, the power generation again. So what I've got here is I've got these enormous banks of um, turbines as before. I've put some more in above and below. I might have mentioned that and loads more over here. So there's a lot of turbines. But the thing is, these are all linked to these tanks here. So that might go down quite quickly. And I don't know if they'll be able to provide enough steam. The reason I put them above and below like this is because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a bottleneck in the, essentially in the pipe here. So these turbines down here are going to struggle to go at full whack if all of these are going at full whack as well. So there's going to be, so I reckon if I, if I branched off the sides as well I'll be able to get a lot more flow through to there. I've put tanks down here as well because apparently I didn't have them um, before. So now I've got, I've got 50 tanks there. I've got another... I don't know. I've... I, I honestly don't know. I've got a lot of tanks and a lot of... Um, so if we look at this, I've got 2.3 million steam in the tanks at the moment. And they're at about 80%. Well, some of them are 80% full. So we can guess there's probably going to be close to 3 million steam in all of these tanks put together. However, I noticed that when the... Um, yeah, when the... Uh, when it was running... When everything was running, including the um, the core mining drills, I was using enough more power than the um, than the than the solar is capable of producing. That the, as you can see here, the, the steam turbines were producing quite a lot of power at this point, and that means they were, and that meant these tanks weren't really filling up. The ones down at this end were practically empty. So I thought, okay, it's probably about time I increased my power generation capacity. So I built another um, nuclear power plant here. And this one, it, it's the same design, but I've folded it in on itself a bit, just to make it, just to fit it in, in the space. So we've got the four um, four reactors in proximity here, with all of the um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 24, 48, with 48 um, heat exchangers, and then the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 40, 40 steam engines on either, 40 turbines on either side, and then 50, well, 48 uh, steam tanks on either side as well, and these are all linked up. Except these ones aren't because of because of silly reasons. Let's um, link that up. Uh, damn it, user interface. I linked these up before these ones are actually built because I ran out of tanks, so um, I had to think. So I did, they weren't actually linked up, but that means I've got another 2.3 million steam stored over here. Um, and these probably should have shut off by now, but they didn't because they didn't know about that million steam up there. So. Yeah, the the inserters have, have cut out now. So once, so we've we've, we've wasted 24 um, uranium fuel things, but I don't care. So this is these are running off the same sort of principle as all of the other ones. They've got connections to the tanks, although these ones cut out when they're when they get down to a million. So I should always have at least two million steam in my tanks, which is, in theory, enough to fight off a coronal mass ejection. Um, admittedly, it depends on exactly where the steam is. But I've got more turbines now. I've got more steam tanks. They're all linked together a bit better. So. I'm pretty confident that next time there's a coronal mass ejection in in six and a half hours, as I said, that I'll actually be able to defend against it properly, and it won't it won't get in and you know just damage my stuff. Speaking of damaging my stuff, I had an asteroid attack get through my defences here. It actually blew up some. I mean, I don't really care about the stuff it blew up because it landed here and took out some of my ancient ancient um, steam engines. 
and um, and a roboport here or radar down here as well so I don't really care about what it hit but the fact that it got through is a bit of a worry so I've also added in some extra um, meteor defense installations up here so I ha already had these eight but apparently that wasn't enough <laughs> so I've put in another six um, and that was just a copy paste job so that was nice and easy and that should now I, I think that should work but I guess we're going to find out the hard way sooner or later the other thing I did was I looked in this rocket here um, and I thought and there was hardly any stuff in it and I thought there's no point in going off to the space station with a half empty rocket. Let's take up some of the stuff that I'm getting through massive quantities of. So I boosted the amount of um, red circuits that were being loaded in from uh, so, so the demand is instead of being 4000 is now 12000 uh, for up in space. So I've got a lot more of those now. And then I just and then I just told the um, the coal inserter to go nuts so as you can see I've got rather a lot of coal in here I should probably check to see whether there's anything else that's needed because it's been a little while since I set that so having have I turned this off I've turned this yeah okay that's turned off now so if I take out one of these no there's nothing else being put in there so we're uh, space is is now officially full it's got all the stuff it needs of all of these sort of things and the raw materials that are being sent up by delivery cannon can just continue to be sent up by delivery cannon i think that base has probably calmed down because as you might remember from the previous episode it's oh wow look at this the um astronomic science has backed up all the way to here that's incredible now okay i did leave it for quite a long time and i've smoothed out a lot of the wrinkles in the system but that's 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 brilliant um, my limiting factor I believe is once again is these, is these memory sticks that are being made here because they take red circuits and we've run out of them which is why I bumped it up to 12,000 instead of 4,000 because they are a, they are a resource that gets used up I mean if you remember from last time this belt was completely backed up all the way and now it's completely empty all the way down to here so yeah they're not getting they're not getting used up quite as fast as I would like uh, sorry they're not getting replaced at all and they are getting used up faster than I would like but this seems to be ticking over we've got most of the inputs it seems to be yellow ones of these are the short are the ones that are in shortest supply but there are enough that these these are actually running um, I don't know why the yellow ones are in the oh because of the memory sticks for shortage over here yeah that's fair enough um, the other, th the other thing that was causing bottlenecks beforehand, as you probably remember, was the scrap coming along here, of various types of scrap. So there was just normal scrap that's getting passed over to this recycling machine, and it's all, all been done, dealt with now and turned into landfill, and we've made a whole whopping 38 landfill out of that. So instead of having a packed chest down here, I've got a third of a stack in this in this thing. So that's, that's fantastic. That's worked really, really well. Um, it hasn't dealt with the broken memory cards yet. That's going to be a problem again quite soon because that's nearly full. But that's going to be what this recycling machine here is for. In fact, let's set this one to demand those broken memory cards. Um, if I can find them. Yeah, these ones. And I want this to be just, just, just all of them. <laughs> Uh, they won't be. It won't be able to do anything with them yet because there's no recycling facility there. But I can now come up and oh, and it needs to request from buffer chest as well. There we go. And all the bots will now happily bring those across. So uh, what this will do is it will do the recipe that turns the broken memory cards into scrap, and then they'll feed them into this machine, which will turn the scrap into landfill, which will put in here. And then once every million years or so, I'll need to come up and empty all the landfill out of it because I can't do anything else with it. But that was. I mean, it was either that or start firing the back down with delivery cannons, and that's that's just not practical because I'd need to start making delivery cannon capsules up here, and oh, I just no, I just don't want to get into that. This this is this is much better, I reckon. Okay, so that's that's my, that's this this um the current current state of play, should we say? And now that means it's time to go back into space again. So let's let's check. I've got all of the um. I've got all of the all the stuff I want to take with me, and I thought coal is something I'm shipping up massive quantities of by delivery cannon. So let's just take up loads of it by by rocket and save some to capsules. Since I've I need to, I might as well take something up there with me. I've got a lot of rubbish in my inventory. Most of this is sort of complete and utter nonsense that I don't want. Um, put that in there, please. Thank you. I seem to be accumulating massive quantities of space capsules. I'm not quite sure why, because I had a shortage of them before, but never mind. Um, yeah, some of this is junk. I don't, I don't need uranium fuel cells up there in space. I don't need normal belts, but 
I can't be bothered to faff around with swapping my inventory back and forth because every time I do I forget about it and then the bots bring me loads and loads of stuff I don't really need. So I'm going to leave that. Uh, any landing pad in the aim? Uh, yes, yeah, so I want to go to the Norvis orbit landing pad. Cargo system, I don't know why that's variable, but yeah, sure. Um, let's go. So back into space, and now my plan while I'm up there in space, hopefully I've got all the stuff I need. I think I probably have, because I, th I thought about it a little bit before I took off. So my plan once I get back up into space is to start putting together the, um, the energy science production. So that's going to be a fairly big job. Um, there's a lot of stuff involved in that. There we go. We now have there's all of the all of the stuff I brought up with me in this game. Pulled out nice and quick. And we got down here. We've got that machine bundling up the uh, the rocket pack sections that uh, came up successfully and were uh, were used. So let's put my is there a pod in there? Yes, there is. So let's put my pod down here straight away, and then we can just put things into it as it seems like a good idea. That's been built now. So in that now I want to turn the um, memory cards, so the broken memory cards into scrap. Um, there's quite a lot of other stuff you can recycle, but no, most of this I don't want, so we'll do that. And then this will uh, crunch its way through all the broken memory cards over, gradually over time. I mean, it takes some t an amount of time. It takes, what, five, five seconds to chug through each one of these. Hopefully I'm not making them that quickly, so it'll eventually just chug through them all, and it'll feed them in here, where every hundred of them will be turned into a piece of landfill. So that's gonna, yeah, there's, 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 there's plenty of that. Plenty of room for that. And now we see all the red circuits are getting shuffled around by the, um, by the bots, and then dumped onto this belt here. Now all of these, these really need to be turned into, um, stack inserters. Which ones are working hard? That You're working hard so you can be a stack inserter. I don't seem to have very many of those. I may end up having to use um, the other sort. Uh, what do you call it? Filter stack inserters. Because I think I've got yeah I've got 50 of those. So I can use them. But at the moment nothing else is at the same, same sort. Oh copper is a... No copper's keeping up just. One thing I can do if I get desperate is get caught in a belt like that, no, is, is do this where I have two inserters, one passing forwards, one passing backwards, and that will fill up any gaps in it. So you do get almost twice as much out, and you certainly get, you'll, you'll basically fill up one side of the belt, so that, that works fairly well. Um, but I don't think I really need to do that anywhere else. So that should now mean we're making, yes, we're making memory cards again, that should help catch up with that, um, that backlog. I might need to start making mem um, red circuits up here in space, to be honest, because I'm trying to get away from having th from the things that need to be brought up by rocket, and get it to the point where it's just, I guess, science packs and I suppose the uh, this this sub scaffolding and and if, and then if, and a few other things that need a lot of processing in order to get them up here. So. Yeah, circuits are something that are vaguely possible. I, I can, I mean, green circuits are just are uh, just copper and um, stone, but with a couple of steps in it. Red circuits are that plus plastic and possibly a bit more copper. Um, let's look at this to make sure I'm actually right. Yeah, so the the electronic circuits that I've just made plus copper and plastic, and plastic I can make from the um, from the petroleum gas that I'm not actually making up here. That I'm making ti in tiny quantities. Oh no, there's a tank. Yeah, there's a tank with none of it in. <laughs> none, none in it over here. Why is this stopped? Because that's full. Um, yeah, okay. I need I need another one of these, which I don't, which I may not have, to turn the um, light oil into, into petroleum gas. Okay, I should have brought some more of these up with me, I guess. Okay, I'm starting to ramble now, so I'm going to call that an episode. Next time, it's going to be do all this again but in purple and make some energy science so this is going to be actually it's going to be quite different i think it's going to be a bit simpler really um because i don't need to make i, I think there's a lot fewer steps involved in the, in the energy science because uh, because it's mostly just out of stuff i've already got oh i forgot to put in another uranium cannon on um, on norvis while i was down there bah i might just redirect the um the one that fires at Henki Suki, Susie, whatever, um, to, to fire up here for a little while, um, just to get that through and and ready and working, and then put another one in when I when I go back down there next time. Because um, yeah, I forgot about all about that. Otherwise, um, yeah, otherwise it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to need to make more of these, but that's you know I've, it's a solved problem. I know how to make them. I just need to make more of them. So that should should be should be pretty straightforward. And that's going to keep me busy for a good while. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you next time and show you what I've been up to.
Thanks for watching. That's a lot of coal. <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be room for all of this in 